are on the valve job and this is really quite amazing here uh, the way that I ported the chamber and bled into the floor and these are 45 degree valves I thought they might have been 30s but upon checking them they are 45s but the bathtub cha shaped chamber and pulling them in uh, Man, what a concentric hole I got, especially after porting. Okay, I'm going to let you just see this real quick. See how cool this is. All right. Um, I'm going to reposition the camera so I can actually do the work. Okay, I just faced it off. This is the 60-degree stone. We say that because there's 60 degrees right here, okay? And this is your digger, really. Now, most of the factory valve jobs are always on the high part of the valve. Remember I showed you how I always marked the valve black. Uh, it's all the way up in here and gigantic wide. We're going to turn this into a killer airflow performance deal by thinning the seat, moving it to the edge, and digging some in this bowl. Alright? What I'm so happy about right now is I got these valve guides. Every once in a while you get some that are super, super, super straight like the Ford FE heads I did. Those are hands down the best guides I've put in in quite some time and a lot of that is just luck of the draw. But these came in damn near as good as the Ford FE valves. Okay, what I mean by that is when I installed the guides, I, I guess I'm really good with my hands at positioning the, the, the driver that reams and cuts that I just, as luck would have it, plus the guides were not totally wore out. Uh, if you get ahead where the guides are just a little bit wore and not totally wore out, you're going to do a better guide and valve job installation. The worse wore out they are, the harder you're going to have to fight to make it come in. But this right here, it come in perfect. I'm going to let you take a look. I'm going to go ahead right now, and I'm going to hit this turkey with the 60-degree stone. And you can tell, see, she is spring-loaded. I always spring them. See the bounce? See, when you know it's good, it's going to make a little bit louder chowder when it's more uh, concentric. Now, you've seen about how long I did it? Let's get a real close-up look at that uh, 60 degree. Okay. I guess I can't really lay it where you can see it. But what, but what I've got is, man, these things are perfect width all the way around. It's not real wide here and thin here. I mean, it's almost perfectly the same width all the way around. And this is with a stone with a spring barely touching it. So this tells you that the quality of the guide installation is second to none with a consistency with a 60 degree ring right there like that. So I'm going to go ahead and position them. I'm gonna, I, I'll let you see that. And I'm going to go ahead ahead and hit the 30 in just a second. Reposition the camera. Alright, now we're going to hit it just a little bit more. Alright, now there's the 30 degree. Wow, look at the difference. There's our 30, look at the 60. Now we're going to take the 60s there, we're going to take that 30 and hit it and pull down and we're going to bring the two points together that's going to tell us the location of that valve angle of the 45. Alright, now we got the 60 and the 30 degree touching. Let's reposition camera. Okay, now it's totally black, fresh, where I marked it. I'm going to take it and hit it. A little bounce. Pull back. Wow, let's see what we got here. I think we've done really good right here. I'm only going to have, I still got to take the 60 and come up a little bit. All right, you see our line? Look at our line right there. Okay, that's about... 30 thousandths from the edge. It's not in the middle. It's still down there. What I'm looking for 
so you see what I see what I try to get is uh, right here I'll set one beside of it see this one's about 10 to 15 thousandths farther down than what that one is I try to get them between 10 and 15 thousandths from the outer circumference of the valve up with that line, that line right there you see going through the black, when I touch it with the 45, that's the width of the seat, boom, it's in. So that's going to be it right there, and it looks so far, man, uh, like we got it positioned exactly where we want it, right 10 to 15 from the bottom. All right. Okay. Just got through doing the 60 and the 30 degree uh, stones on the valve job which would be these two fine specimens right here. This flatter one being the 30, the tall steep one being the 60. And what I do, this is on the exhaust or the intake, I go between the two until I get them to a point where I take a black marker, um, a little Sharpie pen that I use right here, mark the face of the valve area, and then smack it. And what it's going to do is it's that where the, where the 60 and the 30 meet and touch, it's going to leave a line and tell me exactly where that 45 degree valve seat is going to be. So in doing a valve job, the real work is not the 45 degree angle, it's the 60 and the 30. That's what takes hours to get them where, number one, they're all in the same spot on the edge of the valve. Number two, when you look at the line, that the line is the same distance at three pickup points, triangular speaking. Because if it's higher on one side and lower on the other, then that means the seat is not concentric to that valve guide. That's what takes the time. And now I've got it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in here. I've already done one. And I'm going to dock them, and now I'm going to hit them with the 45 stone. And then once I do that, I'm going to do the math and use my scribing tool to determine how much meat that I'm going to cut out of the bowls on the head. That is a mathematical deal based on port entrance, the size that I got, a rate of expansion or deceleration or divergency, a divergent duct work. So um, there you have it and let's go ahead and do the 45 and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to get more into what's going on here and why <coughs> that I do it this way because remember if air comes in Hauling ass is 690 feet per second. It, it's got to turn, so it's got to slow down just like a car going around a corner. If that, car, if that curve says that you cannot go around it no faster than 60 miles an hour, if you try, you wreck the car and you run off the curve. Basically, same thing going on right here. It has to make this 90 degree bend to go into the valve and the bore. So the air's got to slow down. So it's got to start getting bigger, and in getting bigger, the air and fuel slows down. Anyway, let's go ahead and do the 45 stone and hit them and come back, lap them in, get the valves numbered and everything, then we can begin the sequence on scribing the lines, doing the math on that, and I'll show you how I scribe them and put them on, and then we're back to resetting the bowls or doing the final porting on it. Okay, look what we ended up with. Uh, I didn't know if I'd showed you before. I went on one step deeper. This was the first set of numbers. And I went back in there. And every one of these numbers, as I went deeper, got between 30 to 40,000 thicker as I went in the bowl and the short term. So, uh, man, it's absolutely right there. There ain't no problem. When I got through porting it, I went back in there. I just on two sides and resonic it. And I've got 120 and 105, so I don't think we're going to have any problems with any kind of cracking or any stuff like that. Plenty of meat left. All right, on to the valve job.